Hello everyone, it's me once again. So I noticed that Casio ProTech WST F20 had a recent update. I'm not sure how well it has improved for synchronization with my iPhone. As you know, I'm currently using it as an iOS. I just want to quickly show you what the updates are. So here it goes. So no immediate visual impact from the main screen. Um, this is the setting I like to use. It's a date and the um, battery life when the sunrise, no schedules, <laughs> quite flexible. New York time and my hometown uh, country time and the degrees outside and the steps. Now this is quite a, an improvement actually. So this didn't happen, but if you actually swipe on the left, um, it gets the Google functions. So like you, if you press that button, it's a Hey Google thing and the um, all the schedules of the like tomorrow's and all the Google summaries actually. So those are the things that you get and um, tomorrow's temperature and etc. So that's that. Now, if you swipe on the top, there's more function than usual. So there's the play mode, um, night version. Um, I'm, I think that's the the display on the watch. Sorry, not again. Okay, here it goes. So the battery life and also some other connections and settings and etc. So if you swipe up again, uh, if you swipe, so you swipe down and then if you swipe up, it's all the notification that you normally get. So let's say if you have YouTube or some other people sending me a text message and so on. That's what exactly what I get. And lastly, you get the Google health notification as well. So this shows that the, um, how many minutes have walked and points again and how many steps and it actually summarized. This is similar to Apple Watch um, health summary. So I can see that, that there's a huge update on that visual side. And you can clearly see that um, the visual has vastly improved as well. One of the reasons I like this um, this phone is that, sorry, this smartwatch is that it the visual is quite impressive. It's a Japanese-made uh, smartwatch, and the craftsmanship is good as well. Um, still no dent, and this is designed to be an outdoor uh, smartwatch. And there's apparently more skins. I mean, this one is the another um, background skin that I could actually put background image should I say and um, like places and maps and clock I mean I can see a few more I have downloaded some from the Google Play Store but you can see that one is another time lapse another added uh, watch um, background image and also regards to the actual um, function the um, all the apps, yeah, the visuals, I can see slight improvement in, in there as well. All the icons are, um, well, especially that text and the size have actually slightly reduced, but the visuals are much smarter. So it's a very good visual uh, effect, in, um, basically upgrade. And let's check on the tool size. So these are showing the North Point and all the other functions how high, what sort of latitude level you are, and etc. They seem to be pretty much the same. Let's see if there's also the improvement on the satellite image, oh, sorry, GPS. All right, so this is popping up. It's taking a while. So yeah, that's pretty much the same, I guess, um, but yeah. So it's mainly about swiping left and right, down and up, you get this extra quick uh, shortcut to each function that are essential for based on the Google experience, I guess Google Android uh, smartwatch experience. So I'm quite pleased with that. So I just want to share that with you. If you are considering to get one, definitely get one. Um, but please note, this doesn't have the contactless function. Neither does it have this function of uh, navigation where how to go, the shortcut that I was expecting. That was a huge letdown, by the way, have it, you know, buying this 
smartwatch i was expecting a quick display on how to go uh, as a direction based on google map display now that's clearly not available by connecting to ios but who knows after i get the google pixel 3 xl within a couple of weeks i and then it's actually connected to the android uh, google watch uh, setup the android system maybe it might pop up um, those who do happen to have this watch please let me know if it does if it does work because i just want to have this function where i don't need to take out my phone but i could see it from the display that i could actually navigate through by looking at the um the screen that's display on my smartwatch that's all so yeah thank you very much for watching this video this is ljp i hope you like the latest update bye bye